So we kick off the show in Melbourne where there has been an extraordinary change in the attitude to vertical living. One of the developers changing Melbourne's skyline is the Salvo Property Group. I'm meeting up with the architect who designed their latest project. So Vince, how is um, vertical living um, changing the way we live in Australia? I think vertical living is not only, it, do, it makes sense in terms of the environment, but it also is an attractive way to live. Yep. Um, we call vertical living high-rise towers, but mm. it's not necessarily the only way that it's described. Europeans have been living vertically for centuries. Yeah. I mean, it's just the words in 50-storey buildings, but if you look at Paris or Rome, six, seven, eight-storey buildings, and, okay. and what I notice, especially in Melbourne, it brings people on the street to eat at cafes and drink at bars and mingle. Yeah. It, bring, it breathes life into the city. Vertical village doesn't only mean vertical apartments. Okay. Because that, that's the most common typology. Yeah. Commercial ground floor, apartments. Yeah. What we've done in Platinum is we've put a, a sky bar on the top. Oh, for example. wow. So level 52 has a lap pool, yep. a gym, a sky lounge, private dining rooms, steam room, so you think about the concept of being in a village in, in, in Greece or Italy or, or Croatia, wherever. Yeah. You don't have just all the residential part in one zone and a commercial shop somewhere. Yeah. It's sort of sporadically yeah. spread amongst the village. It is. The, ca the post office, the cafe, yeah. the convenience store. So that's what we're looking at doing with Platinum. Okay. And of course, we've got the 1,000 square metre, eight storey high vertical garden. Now this is fascinating. Mm -hmm. That is a massive garden on the side of a building. Yeah. The green wall idea is literally the first idea that I had for this project. Okay. I, I was invited to enter a design competition. I flew down, walked around South Bank, was horrified by the lack of greenery and then the chaos. <laughs> it was just a bit of a concrete jungle. Yep. And when I flew back to Sydney, went home, and it was the first, look, I, I think I used my daughter's pencils because it was the weekend. Oh, wow. Yeah, I, I had all my stuff at work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I, I, I've still got that sketch, and it was the first idea I had. So we try and have variety in our buildings and you know put luxury swimming pools and gymnasium and conference centres and meeting rooms and we thought put a cafe down the bottom and make it so convenient. You know, obviously uh, we take this business very seriously, we don't just go bang and give it to somebody so we, we came up at the time with, uh, I think we gave it to four, four uh, leading architectural firms, got introduced to Vince Scalacci and I said, where are you from? Sydney. I said, well, <laughs> I don't think you got much chance. Uh, but he seemed to get what we were looking for, something different, something better, something that uh, you know, we could be proud of. And uh, so when we finished the competition, it just happened to be that uh, the 10 people that we employed to liked his concept the best. You know, it's important to make money, but it's also imp more important to love what you do and be passionate about what you do and be proud of what you do. And that uh, is something we've got in common. Yeah, you know, we like to sort of, we like to, like to, to do, make sure that, uh, that everybody's winning and we're, we're, we're pretty excited about it all. This whole design, this whole building is really cutting edge in so many ways. Um, there's so much going on, even in the interiors of the apartments themselves. Yes. Well, the project, again, thinking about the vertical village of the experience, it's always going back to that. It's just not about getting people into a lobby and up to their apartment. Yeah. That is not the experience. When you walk in, you might actually feel like you're in a hotel, perhaps. You walk into a lobby, there'll be, the idea is that there's some sort of providors convenience market on your left and a cafe on your right. Wow, beautiful. So you, you're instantly in this space that's already about community. Yep. Village. Yeah, you know, yeah. It could be the piazza, yeah. <laughs> the modern piazza. And you, you can meet downstairs. They don't have to come to your apartment to have a coffee. Okay. You know? But then you, when you go journeying through the building, the, the common areas have been handled in, in such a way that that hotel opulence sort of continues. Yep. If you stop at your apartment, the apartments have been designed as quite simple blank canvases, nicely detailed, efficiently designed to minimise corridors and wasted space, but they're a blank canvas for your touch. I mean, interesting enough, um, you know, being your first high-rise, it won an award. Yes, it did. We won an award sanctioned by the International Property Council. I went to Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia and we won wow. Best High-Rise in Australia. Well, congratulations, Vince. You've done a wonderful job. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. 